Hello and welcome to Access DNR, the monthly video newsletter from the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. In this episode, we celebrate environmental education, strengthen connections with park patrons, continue recovering from recent storms, and more. I'm your host, Anna Lucenti Hoffman, and this is Access DNR. We begin this episode at Sandy Point State Park at the annual Green Schools Youth Summit, organized by the Maryland Association for Environmental and Outdoor Education. Throughout a fun-filled day, more than 2,000 teachers and students were given multiple opportunities to learn about local environmental programs and resource providers through a series of hands-on activities and face-to-face -face interactions. A few weeks later, Sandy Point also played host to the department's Spanish language community outreach program, known as Esme Parque, or This Is My Park. As part of the event, volunteers and staff from the Maryland Park Service, Natural Resources Police, Fishing and Boating Services, and more offered a wide selection of information, education, and engagement. Topics included native plants and animals, boating and water safety, an introduction to fishing, and even an opportunity for some future career exploration. Additional ESME Park A events are scheduled this summer at parks throughout the state. In other news, our partners at the University of Maryland Center for Environmental Science announced the results of the annual Chesapeake Bay Report Card. Secretary Mark Belton joined University Vice President Bill Dennison and others to highlight baywide gains and improvements. This year marks the first time ever that the overall Chesapeake Bay showed significant improvement with the entire health of the estuary trending upward. The most notable advances were an a grade for fish populations and the highest level ever recorded for aquatic grasses. For our last recap, we take a first-hand look at ongoing cleanup and recovery efforts in Patapsco Valley State Park. On May 27th, the same floodwaters that ravaged historic Ellicott City made their way downstream, tearing through multiple areas of the park, destroying roads, falling trees, and leaving a large amount of debris along the riverbanks and beyond. Since then, park staff from across the state with assistance of Patapsco Heritage Greenway volunteers and others have worked diligently to clean up and restore public access to the park and its namesake river. Our sincere gratitude to everyone for their continued patience and support. Well, that's a wrap for this month. For the latest news and programs, please be sure to follow us on social media, subscribe to our magazine and newsletters, and download our free mobile app. For those of you on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to share our videos with family and friends. I'm Anna Lucenti Hoffman. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next month on Access DNR.